Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of our three segment Tabata series. Part one, we did lower body and legs. The second part, we're working on upper body and arms. Okay, so things you're gonna need today uh, will be a small towel. Okay, if you're on hard floor, go with the small towel. If you are on carpeting, I want you to grab um, a paper plate. You really just need one, um, two if they're thin. Uh, you can have some dumbbells. You really won't need them. I'm going to give options for a few exercises, but if you don't have dumbbells, what I'm saying is don't worry about it. You'll be good with what I showed you here, okay? Make sure you have a mat. Uh, we are working, again, this Tabata series. We'll work hard for 20 seconds. We'll rest for about 10 seconds, and then we pair that with another exercise. We'll flip back and forth between the two for four rounds, and then we move on to our next Tabata set, okay? We have five different Tabatas today, so 10 different exercises. We're gonna get started. We start pretty gentle, and um, our first Tabata always gets us kind of warmed up. So the first thing that we're gonna do is a prayer press. Doesn't look like a whole heck of a lot, but you're going to get out of this one what you put into it. So we bring the hands to the heart and we're pushing them together as hard as we can. Okay, guys get ready and let's go. Okay, so palms together and just push. Okay, if you really go at it, you're going to shake a little bit. Okay, and that's where you're like, that's where you know you're giving it something. So really push those hands together. We're going to warm up our chest and our biceps this way. Second exercise, we're going to a scapular squeeze. You can stay standing for this one. We're going to reach high. We'll pull down. Think about squeezing your upper back muscles. Pull down, pause. One, two, and then we'll release, reach back up. Okay? Squeeze here. And again, you're going to get out of this what you put into it. Okay? So you're either just going through the motion or you're being very intentional in the exercise. Okay, all right, we're going back to the top. Again, you can sit or stand or kneel, however you wanna do it. Our focus is here, okay? And let's push. Palms together and press. Don't hold your breath. Do hold that exercise. So we're pushing, pushing, pushing. Whew. Keep it up, okay? Three. I can feel that. And, all right, let's get ready for those scapular squeezes. We're thinking right here, right here, okay? See if you can feel that muscle engaging. Reach up, pull down, squeeze it on purpose. Release, right back to it. For our second two sets, I'm gonna give the option to add a towel, okay? You do the same thing but you'd add a pull apart with that towel, okay? Let's open up a little bit right here. Might as well. Three, two, one. And hands back together. Let's squeeze it in, okay? Palms press, palms press. Keep pushing hard as you can. Try not to let up, okay? These are exercises that we can hide from. I don't want you to hide. I want you to come into it on purpose like you mean it relax option to take that towel okay if you're taking that towel grab both ends of your short towel right here you're going to do the same thing pull down a little bit at the bottom so we're pulling out right here we'll reach up we'll engage the lats again on purpose and pull out as well so that's going to add in a nice little tricep contraction Three, really trying. Two, there we go. One, rest. Ten points if you rip your towel. Don't use your nice towel. Okay, let's get it one more time. Three, We're back right here. And then we one, are good and warmed up. Four, Push it together. Okay. We're definitely picking up the challenge up ahead. So enjoy. Enjoy this right now. Okay. And then stay with me. If you don't have any music going, I recommend... Turn on something that's gonna Three, get you motivated, okay? Two, one. Rest. And relax, we're gonna need all the help we can get coming up. All right, we're up, with or without that towel, grip it good. Two, and let's one, pull it down. Four, pull lats down, pull 
gently out on that towel and then back up. Pull down, press out, release. So there's no rush in these. We're definitely more strength focused in these workouts today. All right, guys, that's it. So we are moving on to our next two exercises. Um, in lieu of dumbbells, we're gonna do a down dog push up, and that is to replace a shoulder press. If you have weights and you'd prefer to do a shoulder press, you can. However, if you don't, we're going down dog push up. You start in a plank, you lift the hips up so your head is between your arms. Make sure you have a good grip of the floor with your hands. We're bending the elbows and we press back up. Exercise two, we're gonna flip over and we're doing tricep dips, okay? You can do those right here, they'll be little, okay? Um, you also have an option, dumbbell tricep overhead extension, and I'll show a couple rounds with um, tricep dips at a chair too. Okay guys, so let's get set up. You've got about 10 seconds, come into either preparation for a shoulder press with dumbbells or get set up in your downward facing dog. So we're right here. We bend the elbows. Don't smash your head to the floor. If you're nervous, you could put a little pillow down there to let you know when you're getting close. But really guys, this should be a very controlled exercise. You shouldn't be approaching that floor recklessly by any means, okay? So I'm gonna take that tricep extension on the floor in kind of a little bridge thing going on here. Hips are lifted and it's small. I'm gonna bend into the elbows and then press up. And I'm pushing um, my palms firmly into the floor. I'm trying to point my elbows back. I really want those to stay as narrow as possible. Whew. Oh, this is gonna be quite the pair. Get ready either shoulder press or we're back to that downward facing dog. I'm gonna face you guys this time. Exercise. Right here. And let's go. In both of these exercises, when you're doing that press and extending, be sure that you don't fully lock out your elbows, okay? You should never feel that like snapping point, okay? So always keep them a little soft. Um, other option for that tricep, if you're going overhead extension, you'd be right here, okay? Again, we're keeping those elbows narrow. It's almost like my arms are earmuffs. They're right outside my ears. I'm not out here, okay? So you're either here or you're doing those dips. We've got two more rounds to go. I don't know about you, but... My triceps and my shoulders are talking to me and they're pretty loud about it. Okay, let's do this thing. And up. Exercise. Let's go. Whew. Keep it controlled. When in doubt, guys, if you're feeling like ever like you're not sure if you have it, I want you to stop. Take breaks as you need them. Three. Come back as you're ready. One. You can always pause me. Isn't that nice? Hit pause if you need to, okay? You're going tricep extension on a chair or on a step, it'd be right here, okay? Make sure your chair is sturdy if that's what you're using, okay? And you wanna really try, especially if you're using a chair, push that pressure straight down into it. Mine slid a little bit, so that was a good almost disaster example. Okay, let's go. Last time, last time. You've got your shoulder press or those down dog push-ups. Whew. those being done. All right, we've got triceps. Last time, last time. Take it, pick your version. Let's do it. Guys, after this, you have a break. I'm going to talk about those next two. 
Whew. Hopefully you're feeling it by now. So heart rate will stay a little lower in this particular workout. We're really yes. focusing more on strength. You should feel, get to those nice burning points in your muscles. All right. Been looking forward to this one. We are doing a glider exercise, okay? We're gonna feel this big time, focusing on one side at a time. You're gonna feel it in your triceps. You're gonna feel it in your lats. You're gonna feel it in your chest a little bit too. So I'm gonna pause because we're gonna talk about this one for a minute. Um, I'd fold your towel over, okay? I'm gonna show it from a couple different angles. We'll be in a kneeling plank for this one, okay? So hands should be wherever it's able to slide, all right? And what you're gonna do, you'll bend into the opposite elbow, you'll slide with the other arm. I really want you to try to push down into the towel to slide yourself back up. And that arm is staying relatively straight, okay? So it'll look like this. Make sure you can see me. And we're going out, push into the towel to come back up, and we're gonna stay on that side, okay? The good and the bad news is, same thing. That's all we're doing for this Tabata. We'll do one side, we'll switch to the other side, we'll do it back and forth for four rounds. I wanna show it one more time. I'm gonna show it from the side this time so you get the idea. I am in a kneeling plank. I'm gonna to try to bring my butt out of the air as much as I can, okay? So we're gonna take it forward, push down into the towel to come back up, okay? We feeling good about that one? Yeah, it's gonna be all right, guys. If you're not enjoying that, I want you to hold a high plank instead, okay? Just holding it in high push-up, or you can actually do some push-ups, kneeling or high. All right, guys, let's get ready. We're going in three. Let's start on that right side. Two and one. Exercise. I want you to pace yourself on these. So we're coming down, press into your towel. Guys, I'm not gonna demonstrate it because honestly, I know I'm not there, but if you wanted to take these from your high plank, you could try those, okay? So that's gonna require a lot of upper body and a ton of core, okay? We're switching sides. Let's swap that towel over to the left hand and set it up. Bring it down, push in your towel. Try to let that be the arm that actually lifts you back up, okay? Reach, press, and lift. boy oh boy okay going back to our first side bring it back right here Three, two, one. slide it out push into that hand to come up really try to stay long through your spine you've got to engage your belly to do that okay keep pulling that belly in Three, try to two, avoid one. that Try to avoid that snaking up off the floor, okay? Push up, straight spine, as fast as you're able to. Whew, switch it over, other side. We're almost halfway, that's a good thing. Let's go. And we're breathing, okay? So ideally we're inhaling on the way down here, exhaling as we come back up. Goodness gracious. Last round of this. Three. We're over the hump. Three down. One. Two to go. Exercise three. Of Tabatas. Not doing. I'm not doing five rounds of these. You can if you want to. I'm going to pass. Whew. Hang in there, folks. You're almost through this two. one. One. Rest. I dare say... I think this is the peak of the challenge today. So three. downhill from here, two. maybe. One. Okay, let's go. 
kind of clean on the floor too. That's good. Wore my running shoes in here and was gonna have to clean the floor anyways. Got a two for one going on. Get that workout, get those chores done. Woo! Yes. Was that our third set? Three, two. We're still going. Exercise. This happens sometimes. I think what happens is I really want to be done with an exercise. And so I pretend like we're done. But usually in person, my class will tell me here on my own. So I gotta use the timer. Rest. Okay, okay, timer. We'll do this. This is our last one. Let's do it. Push into that towel. Tommy's tight. This is really it. I really hope this isn't a fifth set. Whew. It's okay if it is. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay guys, we're over that hump. We have, oh I like this one, okay? So we're doing a forearm crawl. You're gonna need whatever you're using to glide again. You're gonna need a little space, okay? So here is where we're headed, okay? Make sure that you're able to get both of your feet on that towel. Um, I'm gonna open mine up, okay? And this is a forearm crawl, okay? So where you're gonna need to start, I would get your toes on the towel right behind your mat, okay? Towel should not be on the mat. And you're gonna start here in a forearm plank. We're gonna crawl it back. When you reach the back of your mat, crawl it back forward. When you reach your mat, you're going back, okay? Um, that's what we're doing. If it's not going great, take it to your forearm plank. You can do some leg lifts back there. Keep it interesting, just stay active. Our second exercise here, we are doing, oh yeah, I like this one. We're doing an isometric bicep contraction, okay? So you're not really going anywhere, kind of like that cross together we did in the beginning. What I want you to do, you're gonna squeeze here, make a fist, make a muscle, let's see them. You're gonna hold it, release, squeeze it, release. Okay, I'll probably have you pulse it a couple points. Again, you're gonna get out of this one what you put into it. If you've got weights and you'd rather do a bicep curl instead, you definitely can, okay? Without further ado, let's get going. So we're on those towels and let's go, okay? So we're crawling back, all the way back and forward. Really try to see if you can lengthen these steps with your arms. You're gonna get a nice little core work here too. And we're down, okay? You can sit, I'm ready to stand. Um, sit or stand for these biceps. So all you're doing is you're squeezing, squeeze, squeeze. Make a muscle on purpose. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. If you have dumbbells, you're going bicep curls, elbows in at your waist, full range of motion, up and down, palms are turned up, okay? Let's go, round two. Taking it back to our crawl, to that forearm plank setup. Three, two, Whew. let's go. gently. Um, so I'm going to show bicep curls this time. Okay. Three, you don't have them. No problem. One. Go back to those contractions on purpose. Bicep curls. Keep these controlled guys. Elbows stay right in at your waist. Shoulders back. We're tall. Be careful that this thing doesn't happen. 
Don't turn it into a swing. Three, okay. two, one, rest. Set it down, we're halfway here. Doing good. Three, two, one, exercise. Crawl it. Long reach through your arms. catch up with you. Whew. All right, let's get those biceps. Three, Guys, we're winding two, down. Okay, we've got one two, more two, round two. coming up um, of this Tabata. We have our fifth Tabata, and that's it for upper body Tabata. Okay, we got a lot of shoulders today. Definitely got some bonus core work. A lot of triceps today. Rest. Take it down, last round here. We'll move on to that last Tabata. Three, two, one. Let's go. Exercise four. All right, guys, so back to those squeezes. I'm gonna go bicep curls for this last one. Three, okay? Two, one. Work what you got. Exercise four. Bicep curls, controlled motion. Guys, if you're taking those isometric contractions, pulse it, pulse it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Whew. Keep it going. Ooh, Three, I like that. Two, Getting one. a lot out of that. Yes. We're moving on. Last set, guys. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is um, we're back. We are on our hands a lot today. When we're equipment free, um, that's a really great place to work the upper body, okay? I'm gonna pause again to talk about what we're doing. We're done with the towels. Um, you'll just need your mat. So. We're gonna do a dolphin. Um, a dolphin is almost like a downward facing dog. It's a lot like a down dog, but you're on your elbows, okay? So here's where we're headed. We're gonna come down. You'll set up first into an elbow plank. Spread the weight out, elbow through your palms. Don't just press down into your elbows. Strong foundation here. We'll lift the hips, let the head come back between the arms, and then we're gonna come back forward, okay? We're gonna lift, come back forward. You should start with your elbows right underneath your shoulders, okay? Second exercise, we are doing a revolving plank and I'm gonna recommend palms for this, okay? If you're in high plank, come up onto your toes and separate your feet about a foot apart because you need to be able to rotate them Here's why, watch my heels. I'm gonna rotate, come all the way onto the side of my feet. I'm gonna open up into side plank, and then I come down, let the feet rotate to that other side. Guys, if you're not loving that one, I want you to take it knees. You're gonna turn, step your foot, come back. So you're on your knee, you'll turn, step, and then back, okay? Let's do this. Get into your forearm plank. We're going that dolphin flow in three, two, one. So we lift the hips and then come back to strong plank. Exhale to lift, draw your belly in. Inhale, come back forward. Breathe out, belly tight. Just nice, almost like you're moving slow motion here, guys. Okay, for that revolving plank. Okay, we're on our palms, palms under the shoulders, feet a little bit wider, about a foot apart. We'll turn the heels, rotate to open, and then take it to the other side. Okay, you can also be bringing that bottom knee down, and then you'll turn, set it down, 
Okay, I'll move a little bit slower in that version. That's all right. Whew. We've got three rounds to go. Okay, bring it back to your forearm plank. Three, two, one. Exercise five. Lift up. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, lift. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, guys. Set up for your version of that revolving plank. Okay, we will be on palms. Two, one. So it can be Exercise five. high plank version or taking it to a knee, turning to open, lift back up, knee, open. Okay, and a couple more. Three, two, one. All right. You can keep it as is. I'm gonna throw in another challenge. When you come back to plank, option to reach forward, set it down before you lift back. So here's what I mean. Let's go, we're up. You'll come forward to plank. You'll reach, set it down, lift up. Lower down, reach, set, lift. Okay, just keep it flowing, keep it going. You can always just hold that plank. Whew. That was a challenge. All right, guys, let's get this revolving plank. Try to open up wide, stack your arms, and turn all the way through, okay? So we turn all the way through, lift your hips away from the floor, stack your arms straight up and down, okay? One arm right over the other. Let your feet rotate. Three. One more. All right, guys, so we're going back to that dolphin. Um, I'm gonna give a different challenge this time, just holding it high in dolphin. So bring it up, and you can do this if you want to or not, and I want you to hold it here, start to tiptoe your feet forward, and get more weight over your arms, okay? So you're getting lighter and lighter on your feet. For five, three, four, and we're down, so we're gonna get that revolving plank last time. Okay, get on your palms, get ready. Three, and two, let's rotate one. open. Okay, stack that upper arm right over your bottom arm. Think about lifting the hips up and keep it rolling. Stay with your breath. We've got just a couple more, and that'll do it for our upper body Tabata. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, guys, we made it. So um, I do recommend you take a stretch, okay? Focus on opening up your chest. You can take it right there, take it here. Also, stretch out your upper back. We got a ton of shoulders today. Make sure you do some of those and some triceps, okay? Do those stretches, about 30 seconds a piece, guys. Um, I'll see you next time, okay? Maybe that was your workout for today. Great job, way to rock it. Um, if you're gonna do any of the other workouts as well, uh, we've got Tabata lower body leg available and also Tabata core will be available shortly. So see you next time, guys. Nice work.